I just brute force that completely. <laughs> Hello internet, my name is Blitz and today we're playing a game called Tardy. This was very graciously extended to me by the developers. Hey, come here! I'll pay you back, I promise, just... You had time and you've... Stop right now! I'll get you, mark my words, and then you'll go straight to Dr. Light. Ooh, shit. Where are you? Do you really think you can hide from us? I'm doing it right now. Why is this ship so weird and looks like, damn, someone's coming. I can't go out. What should I do? I can hide here? No? Here? No. And if I- yes, that's the perfect one. How is this thing supposed to open? Aha, and now I need to close it. Awesome, it's very cold though. Do you just hide himself in a fridge or something? <laughs> it's time to get up? It's still night. Wait, I'm not in bed. Where am I? This doesn't make sense. This was described to me as a space idiot simulator! Is this a spaceship? I got there when I was on the planet, but it seems to put myself to sleep. What an idiot. At least now I know why Mr. Solo hates Creo. Cryo? Maybe? Oh, cryogenic freezing, maybe? I need to get out. This rattle trap must have had some crew. Is a space adventure puzzle game? Hello. With a very cool aesthetic. 10-17-274. We are going to be... Of course, I don't have anything, do I, to write shit down? No. We are going to be writing everything down, because everything's important. 10-17-274, and that's probably the date, but no matter what. From the reviews that I have read, it sounds like... All the puzzles can be solved using what is on the screen, which is great! Sierra is definitely a pioneer and deserves to be respected as such, but those old, like, Space Quest games in which if you fuck th something up in screen 3, that means you can't do something in screen 500. I hate that. That is something that does not need to come back, ever. Look at these buttons! Love them! But I don't know what they're supposed to do. The doors are closed, though. I have no choice. This is destiny. And sh okay. Do I press them again? Oh, okay. Ooh, so that's the window. It's so beautiful here. I've never been to space before. Well, one less dream. Uh, so I was, like, on the surface. And... Okay, so it's saved. Alright. And I fell asleep in the chamber. <laughs> and they just took me to space. Another terminal. How many of these do they have? Ooh, look at the reflection. It's so pretty. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Oh, uh, uh, okay, I see. Well, that's what I need. So I need to reset everything. Can I do that? Okay, so let's do that and then that. Boop, boop, boop. Bah. There we go. Oh, okay. One. I wonder why it doesn't work. Two. It's just ridiculous. Why do you need these buttons that doesn't work? Why do you need these buttons that don't work? Three. Okay, I'm going to the floor three, apparently. I've been dreaming about space for as long as I can remember. Traveling to distant stars, learning new stuff, maybe fight the Confederacy. It's a very beautiful game so far. The music is great. However, I don't feel much inspired at the moment. And it's so cold. What was I running away from? Obviously I had a debt to pay. I have a bad feeling about this. There's a bit of time between where I'm not entirely sure if the game is loading, or if I did something wrong. Okay. I'm guessing I'm on floor three. Well, take a deep breath and hope that the captain is in a good mood. But it's so quiet here. Why? Looks like the ship is empty. I wonder what happened here. Pirates? Space fires? Zombies? Damn, what do I do? I cannot run the ship! This is the end! Come on, Ramto, calm down. We'll deal with it. We always do. This man talks to himself a lot, but I suppose... Okay. Continue. Alright. So it seems to be auto-saving, and that's alright. Okay, well there's something right here we can look at. 
It looks like a Pong machine. Can we play Pong? Wow, an arcade, awesome. But I'm in space alone. I have no clue how to run this thing. Of course, it's the best time for games, but I love- I love Pong so much! I'm sure it was meant to be. We should play. I don't know what that says. That says restart. AJ something. Ah! Yeah! Oh, it says pause. I see it now. Oh no! Rick. Rick was one hell of a nerd. That seems important. Love space. Looking at space. Cha channel. Um, doesn't look like I can open this. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, gibberish. Oh, okay. I just brute forced that completely. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm so glad to see a book. What's this about, huh? Anne's property. I can't sleep since we left. There's only one thing running through my mind. How is she? Is she still alive? Are her kids okay? Will I come to her in time? Can I do anything for her? I don't know. All I can do is wait. And there's no work for me in the ship. On the other hand, it means everything is okay. Stan gave me some advice. He said, write something. Write about your thoughts, fears, and all the stuff that is. And all the stuff that's boiling in your head. He doesn't look like the smartest person in the galaxy, but I think I'll follow his advice. Well, I've already followed. I'm writing just now. Although it's some rubbish, really. Whatever. It doesn't matter if the journal seems stupid. I must arrive to Veronia alive, that's all. I want to see my sister, and if I don't succeed... No, I don't even want to think about this. And entry number two. I keep on writing about everything that happens to me on the ship. I don't see much use in it, but it helps to get away for a little while. There's no work for a doctor anyway, fortunately. I've started to get to know the crew. I wouldn't call it a pleasant experience, and I don't think we'll become friends, but at least I'll have someone to talk to. Stan is the only one in a good mood. His mother's on the Veronia, but he is the most calm and positive of all. He either doesn't care or believes that everything will be fine, or pretends to believe. Melanie. Melanie lost herself in work with only occasional breaks to sleep and listen to this terrible music. Lango Mango or something like that. Who writes such songs? I thought only little girls who fall in love with vampires can listen to this kind of sentimental shit. Definitely not a world-known scientist wearing glasses and a lab coat. Whatever. We've only talked once or twice. She doesn't talk much. Looks like she doesn't care for others at all. Maybe it's hard for her to, and she's trying to abstract herself from all this. I don't know. Rick is kind of weird, he's in charge of safety and security and machinery, but he's careless as hell. On the other hand, what I- what- on the other hand, what do I want from a geek with shaky hands wearing- wearing glasses so thick they may be bulletproof? He's obsessed with conspiracy theories and other quasi-scientific stuff. All he can talk about is the time going wrong, or... AI is up to something, and he's never more than five feet from the damn arcade. I cannot understand why this relic is aboard, but Rick plays it every spare minute. On the other hand, what else is he here to do? There's no other entertainment available. Maybe I should try it. The last member of the crew, and I don't count the annoying AI, is the captain. I don't even know what, what to say about him. He doesn't talk much, quite stern, but there's sadness in his eyes, as if he knows something and wants to say sorry. I wish it's only my imagination. Calc 3000? User manual. This book is an annex to Calc 3000 device. The device is designed to calculate coordinates, air supply, and tampooks for a ship crew. Panel opening checkboxes. These checkboxes allow you to open basic and additional device capabilities. Block them to protect against tampooks without the mind and 
and with color blindness. Enter following code to open the panel that allows you to enter numbers for doing calculations. Enter following code to open the panel that allows you to do number operations for doing calculations. What is this? Huh. Okay, well, well, that looks super important. Well, that is all the time we have left for this episode. We're gonna go for a few more episodes. This game seems really interesting. Um, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you cannot wait for me to finish this game myself, game links in the description below. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye internet. Does everyone see how much of an idiot I am? How much of an idiot I am? I am. Does everyone see, see how much of an idiot I am? Yeah.